This is going to be the biggest update I've done on Nvidia's upcoming RTX 4060 graphics card. Not only will I tell you when it launches, spoiler alert, very soon, but I will also tell you what the RTX 4060 performance is like in games. I mean the exact performance, with actual FPS numbers in popular AAA as well as competitive games including Hogwarts Legacy, Cyberpunk, Apex Legends, Call of Duty and many more. But first let me tell you about this amazing deal from my sponsor. CDKeyOffer.com is my number one choice for when I need to buy a cheap Microsoft software key. They are a reliable provider of affordable keys to me, my friends and the channel community for over two years now, so highly recommend it. Use my discount code IVADIM to get 30% off an already amazing price and grab yourself a Windows 10 Pro for $16, Windows 11 Pro for $23 or Office 2021 for just $52. You can use PayPal for fast and secure payment and get your key instantly. Links to all these products are in the description below. Let's begin with the specs. According to the latest leaks, RTX 4060 is based on the full AD107 GPU manufactured on TSMC or N node, which is a huge improvement in terms of power efficiency and performance compared to Samsung 8 nanometer node, which was used to produce RTX 30 series GPUs. The current RTX 4060 configuration features 3072 CUDA cores, 24 ray tracing cores, 32 megabytes of L2 cache, 8 gigabytes of 18 gigabit per second GDDR6 memory across a 128 bit bus, and 115 watt TDP. Compared to its predecessor, RTX 3060, the 4060 may look like it is lacking in some parts of the specifications. However, it makes up for the shortcomings by having a much larger cache, faster memory, and much lower power consumption. The 115 watt RTX 4060 has a 32% lower TDP compared to the 170 watt RTX 3060. Now let's discuss performance. In fact, Nvidia has already released devices featuring the exact same AD107 GPU found in the upcoming RTX 4060 desktop graphics card. I am referring to the RTX 4060 laptops. The specs are nearly identical, except for memory speed. As a result, the RTX 4060 desktop card will perform very similarly to RTX 4060 laptop. Based on the benchmark results I've seen so far, I can conclude that the RTX 4060 desktop card will perform very close to the RTX 3060 Ti overall. Now let's move on to the individual game benchmarks. We'll start with the latest hit game, Hogwarts Legacy. Using ultra settings, you should expect to run this game at 102 FPS on average at 1080p resolution and 67 FPS at 1440p. In Cyberpunk 2077 on ultra settings, the RTX 4060 should produce close to 72 FPS at 1080p and 44 FPS at 1440p. With ray tracing set to ultra and DLSS to balanced, you can expect about 63 FPS at 1080p and 43 FPS at 1440p. By the way, if you are enjoying this video, then consider giving it a like. It is the best way to thank me. Using ultra settings at 1080p in Dead Space, expect to see an average of 75 FPS and 45 FPS at 1440p. In Microsoft Flight Simulator on Ultra Graphics, expect to see close to 57 FPS on average at 1080p and just above 44 FPS at 1440p. Enabling DLSS Balanced Mode will improve this to 61 FPS at 1080p and 57 FPS at 1440p. A Black Tail Requiem is another recently released AAA game that is quite graphically demanding. The RTX 4060 should deliver close to 54 FPS at 1080p and 38 FPS at 1440p using ultra settings. To achieve a consistent 60 plus FPS experience, you will either have to lower the settings or use DLSS even at 1080p. Spider Man Remastered is a visually appealing game that is not too demanding. On the very high graphics preset, expect an average of 109 FPS at 1080p and 84 FPS at 1440p. Now let's move on to popular online shooters. 
With the RTX 4060, you should expect to play Apex Legends on max settings, averaging around 106 FPS at 1080p and 86 FPS at 1440p. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 should run smoothly even on extreme settings, with over 86 FPS on average at 1080p and around 60 FPS at 1440p. Far from perfect for a competitive gamer, but more than enjoyable for a casual player. If you are a fan of Red Dead Redemption 2, then you'll be happy to hear that the 4060 should deliver a good experience in this game, with a nice 69 FPS on average at 1080p and 55 FPS at 1440p using ultra settings. Based on these performance numbers, I expect the RTX 4060 to be a good option for those planning to play current games as well as upcoming AAA titles at 1080p resolution using the highest graphics quality preset. If you are considering a 1440p resolution, be prepared to make compromises, like using DLSS and frame generation in most new AAA games. According to the latest leaks, RTX 4060 as well as 4060 Ti are both planned to launch closer to the end of May. I am sure that we will learn an exact date closer to launch, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel to get that update. As for the price, we shouldn't anticipate any great deals from Nvidia this year. The RTX 3060 launched with a $329 MSRP, and for some absurd reason it still sells above the MSRP. Considering this, I expect to see basic RTX 4060 models priced between $350 and $400, with premium models costing well over $400. It appears that the value proposition for the lower tier RTX 40 series graphics cards will be quite poor this year. From a technological standpoint, the RTX 4060 is an impressive product, expected to offer 3060 Ti levels of performance while consuming nearly half the energy. However, providing just 8GB of memory compared to the 12GB on the RTX 3060 is just not good enough in 2023, especially if you are going to charge more money for it. If this graphics card were named RTX 4050 and priced accordingly, it would have been a hit with gamers, and everyone would be happy. Oh well, perhaps in an alternate universe. What do you think about the RTX 4060? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and subscribe for more content like this. It was I, Vadim, until next time.